So hello friends, uh, today I will explain you uh, a very important topic, uh, Lagrange multiplier method to find out maxima and minima. Actually maxima and minima under some condition we can solve easily by Lagrange multiplier method. Okay, we can solve by uh, any other method also but uh, using Lagrange multiplier it becomes easy. So, what is basically Lagrange multiplier function um, method? Uh, always they will give one function fx, y, j. This one they will give. The function which one we are going to maximize or minimize. As well as, they will give some condition. And condition we denote by phi, x, y, j is equal to 0. So always, when they ask to solve by Lagrange multiplier method, we have to find out the function which we are going to maximize or minimize and condition. Under this condition, we are going to maximize. So whatever given, it's easy way, whatever given to maximize or minimize, that is your f, whatever remaining, that is your phi means condition. <coughs> so first of all we have to collect the information. Uh, once you have f and phi then you construct L. L is called Lagrangian multiplier function and that is nothing f plus lambda phi. f you can write from here and phi from here and lambda is a constant. Lambda is Once you have L, find out del L over del X equal 0, find out del L over del Y equal 0, del L over del Z equal 0. Solve these three equations together. Phi x, y, z is equal to 0. These three with this. Once you solve, you will get the values of x, y, z. Once you got the values of x, y, z, just put that value in f. That is your maximum or minimum value. Uh, and uh, here no method to check using Lagrange multiplier method. This is gives maxima or minima. But whatever comes, it's based on the question what they ask. If they ask maximum value, it will give maximum. If it question is given minimum, then it will give minimum value. Otherwise, we can do uh, some other process also. For example, I will tell you uh, one example. A box is open in top, actually rectangular box. Which box? Rectangular. Open in top, having volume 32 to be fit. Find the dimension of box means length, breadth, and height such that require it require minimum material. It means volume they given for a rectangular box which is open in top and they want minimum material required to construct that box. Material required means they want surface area. 
so they want minimum surface area for that so what is minimum surface area what is surface area box is open on top so it means uh, 2xy plus 2yz plus zx here we can't put 2 because top is open this we are want to max minimize under which condition volume given what is volume x y z and which is how much 32 so volume given so what is your 5 5 condition which is given x y z minus 32 so phi is this f is this this is equation number one this is equation number two now we are going to minimize one using two how we minimize we are going to use lagrangian multiplier function so what is lagrangian multiplier function f plus lambda phi what is f it is 2xy plus 2yz plus zx plus lambda xyz minus 32 this is your l now what is del over del x this is 2y plus z plus lambda yz equal to 0 what is general over del y? 2x plus 2z plus lambda xz is equal to 0. What is general over del z? 2y plus x plus lambda xy is equal to 0. Now solve these three. How we solve? Multiply x here, y here, and z here, and add. So what we get? 2 by x minus 3 by y. What we get? 2xy plus 2xz plus xz plus lambda xyz is equal to 0. And here y means 2xy plus 2yz plus lambda xyz is equal to 0 and subtract this is cancelled this is cancelled here uh, xz minus 2yz is equal to 0 so xz is equal to 2yz z is cancelled so we get x is equal to 2y similarly uh, in 3 we multiply y and 4 we multiply by z what do you get 3 multiplied by y minus 4 multiplied by z what do you get 2xy plus 2yz plus lambda xyz is equal to 0 and here 2yz plus xz plus lambda xyz is equal to 0 and subtract so 2yz 2yz cancel 2xy minus xz is equal to 0 this is cancel so xx cancel z is equal to 2y so what we get x is equal to 2y and 2y is equal to z Okay, now what is given 
x y z is equal to how much? 32. X value how much? 2y into y. What is z value? 2y is equal to 32. So 2 to the 4, 4 cancel means 8. Y cube is equal to 8. So y value 2. Y 2. So this implies what is x value? 2y means 4. What is z value? 2y means 4. What is y value? 2. This is the length of box. Now, we have to calculate f minimum. What is f minimum? Just put x, y, z value in f. So, what is f? 2xy plus 2yz plus z x. Just put the value. So, xy. xy means 8. 8 to the 16. 2yz. 16 plus ZX 16 means 48 cubic meter this is the answer so in this way we can construct uh, we can find out minimum value I will solve one more question So, given x plus y plus z is equal to a, find maximum value of x to the power l, y to the power m, z to the power n. So, how we do? It's straight forward. F is x to the power L, y to the power M, z to the power N. What is 5? x plus y plus z minus A. So once you know F and 5, write L value. What is L? F plus lambda 5. What is F? x to the power L y to the power m, z to the power n plus lambda times x plus y plus z minus a. So now L we have. So now what is our next process? Just differentiate with respect to x, y, z and equate 0. So what is del L over del x? L x to the power L minus 1 y to the power n, z to the power n plus lambda is equal to 0. What is del L over del y? m, x to the power l, y to the power m minus 1, z to the power n plus lambda is equal to 0. What is the del L over del z? x to the power l, y to the power m here n come z to the power n minus 1 plus lambda is equal to 0 this is equation number 1 this is 2 this is 3 uh, from first what we get l x to the power l y to the power m z to the power m upon x plus lambda is equal to 0 so lambda is equal to uh, minus lambda is equal to l f by x similarly from third second and third what we get minus lambda is equal to m f upon y and minus lambda is equal to n f upon z so what we get So, minus Lf by x is equal to mf upon y is equal to nf 
over z. So we use component to divine rule that means L plus M plus ratio rule, L plus N plus NF upon X plus Y plus Z. This is also equal and this is what? L plus M plus N F X plus Y plus Z value how much? A. So what is take first and second? So what is X value? L upon L plus M plus N. What is Y value? M upon L plus N plus N. What is Z value? L plus M plus N. Uh, N upon L plus M plus N. So once you got X, Y, Z value, just put in so F maximum. It's what? X to the power L. Means L upon L plus N plus N to the power L. M upon power M and N upon power M. This is max. So in this way we can calculate uh, maxima and minima under some condition. It's so much easy just you have to find out two function one which one we are going to maximize or minimize and under which condition we are going to do that is your F. Once you F and phi, just write L value, capital L, that is called Lagrangian multiplier. Then you go for del L over del X, del L over del Y, del L over del Z, equal 0 and solve it. Here only you face some difficulty to so use uh, uh, any trick and find out the values of X, Y, Z. Once you get X, Y, Z value, just put in F, we will get the answer. So hope you all understand. If you want uh, any specific question, please give it right in comment. Okay, thank you.